the cheese touch. I noticed not long ago that even though people were getting used to me, no one would actually touch me. I didn't realize this at first because it's not like kids go around touching each other that much in middle school anyway. But last Thursday in dance class, which is like my b la least favorite class, Mr. Autonomy, the teacher, tried to make Hinema Chen be my dance partner. Now, I've never actually seen some someone had a panic attack before, but I heard about it, and I'm pretty sure Hinema had a pa panic attack at the second. She got really nervous and turned pale and totally broke into sweat within a minute, and then she came up with some lame excuse about really having to go to the bathroom. Anyway, Mr. Autonomy let her off the hook because she ended up not making anyone dance together. Yesterday in my science elective, we are going this cool mystery powder investigation where we had classify classify a substance as an acid or a base. Everyone had to heat their mystery powders and heating plate and make observations. So we were all holding around the powders with our notebooks. Now there are eight kids in the elective and seven of them were squished toward on one side the plate while one of them me had a load of room on the other side. So of course I noticed this, but I was hoping Mr. Robin wouldn't notice this because I didn't want her to say something. But of course she didn't notice this and of course she said something. Guys, there is plenty of room on that side. Tristan and Nino go over there, she said. Tristan and Nina scooted over to my side. Tristan and Nina have all always been okay, nice to me. I don't. I want to go on record as saying that not super nice. Like they go out of their way to hang out with me, but okay, nice. Like they say hello me and talk me like normal. And they didn't even make my face when Mr. Rubin told them to come on my side, which a lot of kids do. They think I'm not looking. Anyway, everything was going fine and the Kristen mystery powder started melting. He moved his foil off her plate just as my powder began to melt too. Which is my, why I went to move mine off the plate, and then my hand suddenly bumped his hand for a fraction of a second. Kristen jerked his hand away so fast he dropped his foil on the floor while also knocking everyone else's foil off her heating plate. Kristen yelled Mr. Robin, but Kristen didn't even care about it. Spilled, the, spilled powder on the floor, or he ruined the experiment. What he was most concerned about is getting to the lab sink to wash his hands as fast as possible. That's when I knew sure that there was this thing about touching me at bitter pre. I think. It's like the teeth touch of diary of one picket. The kids in that story were afraid that catch the cookies cooties if they touch the old moldy cheese in basketball court. As Beecher Prip, I'm the old moldy moldy cheese.